All right, I'm going to try to walk you through as quickly as I can how to set up um, one of these um, platooning simulations. Uh, everybody else will have their own car, but I'll just kind of walk you through the process. You'll have to do it yourself. Uh, let's see, where's my four-inch car? Yeah, this is what I want. So I'm going to call the. I'm going to make a copy of. So this is probably what you'll have. So like you'll have a solid model with your car replicated four times at a specific following distance. I believe these cars are following each other at two inches right now or something like that. Um, this isn't one of the distances I asked you to do. So anyway, I'll, uh, let's see, make a copy of this in, and then have to create a flow volume. So um, these are solid models of the car, but what I want is the inverse of that. I want copies of the fluid that'll pass through the car. So I'll make a flow volume, external, and then I'll have to set the size for that. Um, in the, the document that I gave you, there are some guidelines for how to do this, but I believe um, I need to make this basically extend 27 meters past the last car. I don't exactly know how far that is right now. Um, I'll just mark that, I'll temporarily mark that as a 27. Um, I need it to extend 10.8 meters into the air and like I said 10 meters wide so that's our this is the simulation box note that it cuts the car in half just like the um, tutorial you guys did now I need a box that goes a lot further than this um, so if you're not sure how far you are like at a particular point you can actually measure there's this measuring tool up here so the distance between this two, oh, I guess I can't measure that back face yet. Um, okay, how will I do that? Well, I guess I can measure the distance from the back face to the front face. So that distance is apparently 20, about 25 meters, and I need to go 27 meters beyond that. So I need to go to at least, see if I got this right, like 50, I think it's like 52 meters. I need to go to. So when I set up my external box, I'll go to 52 meters, and that should produce about the right uh, box size. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. That's the box that I'm going to simulate. Um, I'll click apply. That'll create the box. And then I need to delete all these cars. So what I'll do is I'll hide the flow region, that blue box, and then I'll just select all these cars that I don't need anymore and delete them. So that's body, delete, apply, and they're gone. Uh, I'll bring back the floor region, and now you'll see that there's like a bunch of holes in it that correspond to like where the cars used to be. In case you're curious, these wheels, you'll notice that, um, let me think about this. This is actually the wheel well. The wheel is actually slightly detached from this. So when you look down, you will actually see some stuff poking. These are actually the bottom of the wheel. Um, where it contacts the solid, sort of poking through, and uh, it's gone now. So that's what I want. I'll just save it and rename it. So this will be my, um, I don't know, what are we going to call this? Our, uh, our two-inch platooning distance. 